Hello, this is Father Randy Sly with another installment of Day by Day, where each day we take a look at a reading from Holy Scripture found in the Daily Mass. And today is Thursday of the 33rd week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus drew near Jerusalem, he saw the city and wept over it, saying, If this day you only knew what makes for peace, but now it is hidden from your eyes. For the days are coming upon you when your enemies will raise a palisade against you. They will encircle you and hem you in on all sides. They will smash you to the ground and your children within you. And they will not leave one stone upon another within you because you did not recognize the time of your visitation. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's reading from Luke's Gospel comes just as Jesus has his triumphal entry. And the triumphal entry actually takes place just outside of Jerusalem near the Mount of Olives. So he is coming in toward the city and the people are greeting him with the sounds of, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord, peace in heaven and glory to the highest. And all of these wonderful things are being said. And, uh, of course, at this point, he sees the city in front of him, looking down into the city. And he's coming by the side, uh, side of the city nearest the temple. And so he looks at the city. He sees the temple and he begins to weep over it. And he cries out a lament and talks about the ultimate destruction that is about to happen in the city. Now, this is taking place in about 29 AD, and what he's talking about is something that will take place about 40 years later, and that is the destruction of Jerusalem by the Romans. And the fact that at that point, Jerusalem uh, no longer was the center of uh, sacrifice, uh, sacrifice at the temple. The temple was destroyed. And the new covenant in Christ's blood is fully being implemented. And the new, uh, the new covenant has now overtaken the old and supplanted it so that, again, uh, Jerusalem not embracing the new covenant uh, is basically left in ruin. And so here is Jesus just anticipating his final week with us here on earth. He's anticipating his passion, death, and resurrection. He's anticipating all that is about to take place. And he sees as he comes to the city the destruction that is going to await them in just a few decades. And again, one of the things that he is talking about is the fact that they did not recognize the time of visitation. They did not recognize the coming of Christ and the fact that he was truly being uh, given as a gift, a, a gift of salvation to all the earth, that he was the Messiah that they had all been awaiting. And so he is then uh, lamenting over the fact that they just don't see all that is taking place. And I think a good, a good takeaway for us, perhaps, as we look at this particular little piece of scripture, is to remember the fact that we too, as we encounter him, must recognize the time of our visitation. We must recognize who it is that is with us, that uh, as we come into the church for mass and we look up at the crucifix, we realize who it is that is upon that cross, that it is Christ, the Messiah, the one who is the redeemer of our sins. We're just about into Advent. And again, this is an opportunity for us to remember who it is that uh, is, is in, there in the manger. It is Christ the Lord. He's not just this wonderful little infant that we can coddle, but the one who came is the Savior of the world, the one who will bring redemption. And to remember that, that particular visitation as one that is being our own. So again, we're uh, hearing in Scripture things that are getting us ready for the coming of Advent, the time when we recognize the coming of Christ the first time and anticipating the coming of Christ the second time here in our world. And uh, we're now at the, uh, toward the end of Luke's Gospel, 
as we come into the triumphal entry in Jerusalem and looking at his passion and death, which we will visit in great detail uh, during uh, Lent and, um, and, of course, Easter. So this is a, a time of conclusion for those of us who are going through ordinary time right now. And in conclusion, we need to, again, be reminded of the fact that the one that we are anticipating at Advent, the one that we worship at every Mass, the one who came into the world, is this one who is now entering into Jerusalem. It is the Lord Jesus Christ. And to give him all praise, honor, and glory. So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts together be acceptable in your sight. O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Well, we are uh, coming very, very close to the end of ordinary time. But as we do, let us continue to remember that we are following the one who is the Savior of the world and eternally given to us as God the Son and our Savior. So may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.